Hey, second grade, are you ready for your spring week eight lesson? This week, you guys are going to begin looking and drawing butterflies. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of these good examples of the milkweed flowers that I've gotten. I thought it was the most challenging one, but you guys have done a really good job with them. I'm very glad. This week, you're going to need pencil, paper for your drawing, and then your stem journal and coloring supplies. Your expedition information. Our guiding question in second grade is sustainability, life, then and now. The connection you have to art. We are learning how to draw butterflies and flowers for a butterfly garden which helps sustain the lives of the pollinators and the flowers. So we can create artwork later of a butterfly garden environment. Our learning targets, I can look for easy to draw shapes to begin my drawing, and I can add details to make my butterfly look real. We are in the design process, and like we usually start off, we ourselves are going to define the butterfly that we are working on. We'll brainstorm or come up with some ideas. We'll prototype by doing like a sketch, and we'll test it when we actually draw, and you'll share it with me. Now this is the butterfly that we are going to be drawing. It's called a painted lady butterfly. What colors do you see? Does it look like any other kind of butterflies that you've noticed? Take note of the kind of colors you're going to have to use. First, we're going to do in our stem journal the little drawing or the sketch of the painted lady butterfly. Then in our sketchbook, we're going to do a much bigger ver uh, picture with the background. Here's an example of the butterfly that I drew last year. You can use whatever kind of color supplies that you have, color pencils, crayons, whatever you got. So, first we're going to start with our stem journal. Open it up, find a place where you can put a little sketch in. It doesn't have to be a whole new page, you can do something underneath. Like, in fact, I think I can fit one underneath these right here. So, I'm going to... Put one down here. There we go. So this time I'm going to start art butterfly and sketch. And we're going to write painted lady because that's the name of the butterfly. Now we're not doing super detailed things here, we're just doing quick sketches. We want to figure out how to look for some shapes. So the first shape you're going to start with is a long skinny oval. That's going to be like the body. The next thing we're going to draw are the wings. So we're going to go one wing up, one wing up, then we've got one wing coming down, and one wing coming down. Now butterflies don't just have two wings, they actually have four. So we're going to add this line in the middle, combine, combine, underneath, and underneath. And that's just how we're going to do the quick sketch of it to get the idea or brainstorm out the kind of shapes that we'll use. So next, get your sketchbook ready. And we're going to look at drawing the big example. Uh, let me get, so this might be about as big as I can get it, but if you need to go back there, that's a little bit better, and look at it, you can. So like we did before, we're going to start with that oval shape, but in this time, we're going to add some details to it. Around the middle of the oval, I'm going to draw a line that goes down. I'm just going to turn that into the top line. I'm going to make this oval a little bit smaller and come down. And you can erase both sides. 
And this is becoming, if you can see the mouse on the tiny screen, this is the top oval up here, and this is that bottom oval. Now let's do the head. We're going to do those big eyes that they have, because they have great big eyes. And they actually have pointed little, um, I think they're called proboscis, that come down. And then we're going to draw antenna. So that's just the beginning. This is just the body of the butterfly. We're going to draw some more. Like we did last time, or a few moments ago, we're going to start wings going up, up, and then down and down. So I want you to see if you can see the mouse over here. The wings do not start right next to the eye. But they start a little bit underneath it, just a little bit. So I'm going to go up. And here's a trick. If you put your finger at the bottom and then at the top, and then you move it, you can measure and see if you drew it big enough. Because that is definitely not big enough. But then that will be way too big. We'll check that again. We got that, and that's good. There to there, good. So that's going to be the top of the butterfly wings, and then down at the bottom. This one doesn't have to be measured like the other one did. And then a little bit, about halfway through this body, is where we draw the other top wing and in the sketchbook we just drew a straight line but if you look they actually have curved uh, butterfly wings so we're going to go down out and then back and come back and that might actually be a little too wide but uh this is going to be difficult because you got to do it back. You got to do it the same. There we go on both sides. I like that one better. That's better. And then down here, this is kind of easy because all you do for this one is you just have to da da uh, and da da. And now we've got the basic shape of our butterfly down. Now we got to look at its patterns. Is it orange all the way? No. Is it brown all the way? No. Is it black all the way? No. Is it white all the way? No. But it has something of all of these. It's got brown, black, orange, white. Um, did I miss one? <laughs> so. What we're going to do is we're going to look for patterns along the edge. We're going to draw one more because if you look at the edge of the top wings, they've got these white dots. Next to inside, I should say, of a black band or a black line. Then they've got these white dots. Um, more white spots up above it. So I'm going to look, I don't know, see if you can see my, I'm going to look at this one first. So here's a dot. And here's the thing about butterfly wings, it's the same on both sides. So since I drew a dot over there, I'm going to draw a dot over here. Then he's got two little dots underneath going this way or going back towards the, he's got a bigger dot. And then it's got this kind of a long oval shaped one over here. And that's the white part. The black part is surrounding, and it comes down right about here. Then it makes another section right here, if you can see my mouse. I'm going to do the same thing over here. He's got a dot of black right there. And then go a little bit on these parts. Those are brown. Now, the down at the bottom 
have, we're just doing the same thing. We're looking at it. So we know we have a, a line down there. We'll draw the white bumps. Now this one's a little bit different. He's got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And he's got one black dot there, but then one, two, three. So I have white on the inside. One black dot, one, two, three. And then that black underneath that comes down right about to that. Yeah. I do the same thing on this side. This is tricky. It's okay if you don't get it right, the uh, perfect the first time. Whew. I mean, it's a difficult little butterfly to draw. Once you figure out where to put the colors, then, yep, go ahead and get started on that. All right, if you get all this done and you still want to go ahead and do something behind him, you are welcome to. But if you want to call it there and just post a picture, <laughs> that's good enough for me. All right, I will see you next week, second grade.